Listen up, folks. You're like a rising sun, getting brighter every day, getting smarter every day, getting tougher every day. I don't know who you are, but you're probably a real fighter. Whoever you are, listen. You've got folks sweating bullets. You've got them fuming, and you're not even breaking a sweat. You're like a mountain climber, reaching new heights. You're like a wise owl, seeing things clearer every day. You're like a steel wall, getting stronger and stronger. I don't know who you are, but you're probably a real champion. Whoever you are, listen. You've got folks shaking in their boots. You've got them boiling mad, and you're just getting started. All right, listen up. You've got these folks freaking out. They're scrambling like headless chickens, trying to come up with stuff to make up. It's like when you're using your favorite eyeshadow, and it starts to run out. Their old bag of tricks? It doesn't work on you. They're running dry. They're running out of ideas. They're lying, and they're running out of things to lie about. You've got these people looking like fools. Okay, you're like a rock star stealing the show. You're like a superhero making the villains squirm. You're like a puzzle master solving every riddle. I don't know who you are, but you're probably a real champ. Whoever you are, listen. You've got folks sweating bullets. You've got them stuttering, and you're just getting warmed up. Whoever these folks are, or just one person, okay? They're feeling down. They're feeling low. They know bad stuff is coming. They know a storm is brewing. They know the end is near, and it's making them feel blue. Okay? They're like a wilted flower, drooping in sadness. They're like a sinking ship, feeling lost at sea. They're like a broken record, playing a sad tune. I don't know who they are, but they're probably in a real funk. Whoever they are, listen. They've got the blues bad. They've got them feeling gloomy, and it's not getting better. They feel stuck. So these folks who are down want you to be down too. They want you to feel trapped just like them. These are folks with a mindset of being victims. Folks who think they're oppressed or trapped in some way, and they want you to feel the same. There's someone out there, or a bunch of them, who don't like that you feel like you're free. They don't want you to believe you're free because they don't feel free themselves. Okay? They're like a mouse in a maze, going in circles. They're like a bird in a cage, fluttering but going nowhere. They're like a fish in a bowl, swimming in circles. I don't know who they are. But they're probably feeling pretty boxed in. Whoever they are, listen. They've got the chains of negativity. They've got them weighing them down, and they're trying to drag you into it. So it's like misery wants some friends. It's like if I don't have something, then you can't have it either. And there's something here about being super clingy to, like a fatal attraction vibe. You know? I mean, that's been going on. But who knows? You might start seeing a bunch of geckos around lately, or maybe the animal world is trying to tell you something, or maybe it's something you should pay attention to. Okay, it's like a sad puppy wanting buddies. It's like a kid not sharing their toys. And there's something here about being super clingy, like those creepy movies. You know? I mean, that's been going on, but maybe there's something more to it. You might start spotting geckos all over the place. Or maybe animals are trying to send you a message. Or maybe it's just something you need to keep an eye on. Okay, I'm also getting something about a love demon that might be important. Okay, you might be seeing a lot of morning glory flowers. Let's check that out. Those blue flowers. Okay, maybe you have them growing in your garden, or your neighbor does, or you just keep seeing pictures of these flowers or something. Okay. So let's find out what morning glory means. Morning glories have lots of meanings, like love, affection, and the beauty of dawn. Okay, it's like there's this love bug buzzing around. It's like you're surrounded by morning glory flowers. Let's look into that. Those blue flowers. Okay, maybe you've got them blooming in your backyard, or your neighbor does, or you just keep seeing them around. Okay. So 
Let's see what morning glory flowers are all about. Morning glories mean a lot of things, like love, affection, and the beauty of dawn. Okay? So, it's like the beauty of a fresh start, the beauty of a new beginning. Okay? There's something here that's definitely going to be restarted in your life. Something new is coming into your life, or you're starting something new, or you're the one being renewed. All right? Let's check this out. It says the morning glory flower is a flower of two sides. Interesting. Morning glories mean different things in different places. In some cultures, they're about love, affection, and being devoted. But in others, they're seen as a sign of life in me, or death. Okay? So, we're getting this vibe of rebirth, change, okay? You might notice the number 13 popping up a lot, okay? There's something about the death card. If you read tarot, you might be seeing the death card a bunch, okay? I also feel like you're about to see someone else going through a big change. There's a lot of things coming to an end, okay? There's someone here who maybe thought they were invincible or unstoppable in some way, okay? And now they're starting to realize that you're the one who's really strong, okay? This could have also been someone who's been trying to bring a lot of endings into your life, okay? They've been trying to stop a lot of good things from happening to you. You might be coming across the numbers 10 and 11 quite a bit. I sure have. Maybe someone's birthday is on October 11th, okay? Or November 10th. But let's check it out. Also, you might be seeing 1111, 1212, 1010. You might be noticing numbers like that showing up, okay? I also feel like you're getting a lot of magical energy, like things are being transformed. There's something about auras. Maybe you're starting to see your own aura more, or its colors, okay? You might be seeing a lot of gold, white, or green, okay? This is all about you stepping into your own strength, okay? I also feel like whoever I'm talking to, you guys are either working on helping everyone together, okay? You might be doing some deep inner work, okay? Or you could be experiencing a lot of big changes in your own life journey, okay? This might also be someone here who's taking spiritual journeys, okay? And I feel like this is all about you getting your strength back, okay? This is about you taking control of your strength, all right? There's a lot going on here, okay? You might also be noticing dragonflies around, all right? This is a new vibe. You might be entering into some fresh energy. You might be entering into some fresh energy, okay? They keep going on about the same stuff again and again. It's like they're using the same old trick, but it's not doing anything, yeah? You could be setting yourself and others free from harmful thoughts, and there's a dark presence out there that doesn't want that. They want people to be controlled by certain evil beings. You could be like a warrior fighting demons, or you could be helping people face their own fears and demons, because fears are like demons in a way. Somebody doesn't like that you're out here setting people free, showing them that they're not slaves. There are folks out there with big holes in their aura, like parts are missing, and someone's trying to make holes in yours so they can suck up your energy, motivation, creativity, or power. There's a whole lot of negativity out there, and you might need to purify your aura. You might start feeling super angry all of a sudden, or just really ticked off. If you do, you gotta cleanse yourself, especially with the Aries new moon and Mars' vibes around. When folks give you the evil eye, don't sweat it. They'll soon pick another target to trash talk and get fixated on. Don't give them what they want. Don't feed the monsters, starve them out. If you've been up all night or having scary dreams, someone might be messing with your sleep. Imagine you're walking down the hallway at school and you catch someone staring at you with a mean look. That's the evil eye, but guess what? It's like a storm passing through. It'll move on. Don't let it get under your skin. See, when people give you the evil eye, it's like they're trying to cast a spell of negativity on you. But you're too awesome for that. 
Instead of letting them bring you down, keep being your awesome self. And if you're having trouble sleeping or having nightmares, it could be because someone's trying to mess with your dreams. But here's the thing, you can fight back. How? By not letting their negativity get to you. Focus on the good stuff, like your favorite hobbies or hanging out with friends. Imagine you're a superhero with a shield that protects you from bad vibes. Use that shield to block out the negativity and keep being the awesome person you are. Remember, you've got the power to control how you feel. So don't let anyone else mess with your mojo. Someone's feeling pretty upset because you're moving forward and doing well. They really underestimated you. They never thought you'd believe in yourself. Now, they're kicking themselves because they see you rising up and it's throwing them off. Imagine you're climbing a mountain and there's someone at the bottom who didn't think you could do it. But look at you now, getting closer to the top. They're probably feeling pretty silly for doubting you. See, they thought you'd stay stuck where they left you. But you had other plans. You believed in yourself and now you're proving them wrong. It's like you're a rocket blasting off while they're stuck on the launch pad. They're realizing they made a big mistake by underestimating you. It's like they're watching a movie where the underdog becomes the hero, and they're the ones who didn't see it coming. There's a grandma in the mix. Maybe she's throwing shade or shining a light on someone's true colors. It's like your grandma is your guardian, watching over you. And watch out, there's someone dangerous lurking around, feeling like they've got nothing left to lose. Imagine your grandma as a wise owl, keeping an eye on things. Sometimes, she might not like what she sees and she'll let you know. She's like a superhero detective, uncovering secrets and protecting you. But watch your back, because there's someone dangerous nearby. They might be feeling desperate, like they're backed into a corner. It's like a wolf lurking in the shadows, waiting to pounce. Your grandma's intuition might be warning you about this dangerous person. She's like a guardian angel whispering in your ear to be careful. Watch out, someone might have tried to hack your phone or snoop into your private stuff. But guess what? They've got more secrets to hide than you do. And now they've made themselves a big target. Imagine someone sneaking around, trying to peek into your phone like a nosy spy. But little do they know, They've just painted a target on their own back. It's like they're walking around with a sign that says, I've got something to hide. Now, here's where it gets weird. There's someone out there trying to use marine spirits against you. Like they're playing with supernatural stuff. It's like they're trying to make deals with underwater creatures for power against you. But don't worry, you've got some divine protection on your side. It's like you're being guarded by the forces of the universe, like you're under a superhero's watch. And guess what? This person is about to get a big dose of embarrassment for their actions. So, keep your guard up, watch your back, and trust in the divine protection. And get ready to watch this person squirm when their sneaky plans backfire on them. You've got this. Right now, lots of folks are going through breakups, and there's a ton of drama happening in relationships. Some people's egos are clashing like thunder in a storm. And guess what? Those who once rejected you are feeling left out now. Imagine a big storm brewing in the world of relationships. It's like a whirlwind of emotions swirling around. People are arguing. Feelings are getting hurt. And there's drama everywhere you look. You might have felt rejected before. But look at you now. Those who turned you down are feeling like they don't belong. It's like they're on the outside looking in while you're shining bright. Now, there's this one person who's all about the material stuff. They're clingy, possessive, and always worried there won't be enough. It's like they're holding onto things with a tight grip, afraid to let go. They're not happy because they see your life moving forward while theirs feels stuck. It's like they're watching you ride a rocket to success while they're stuck in traffic. So, keep doing your thing and moving forward. Let the drama swirl around you while you keep shining. 
And don't worry about those who couldn't see your worth before. Now they're the ones feeling left out. Right now, there's a bunch of weird vibes going on, with some people giving off jealousy and creepy vibes. Someone might even be trying to track your movements or mess with your life. But don't worry, the divine is stepping in to keep them away from you. Imagine you're surrounded by a bunch of puzzle pieces and someone's trying to fit themselves into your life where they don't belong. It's like they're trying to sneak into your space, bringing with them all sorts of weird energy. Now, there's jealousy in the air, like a thick fog rolling in. Someone might be feeling envious of you and trying to make things difficult. It's like they're trying to throw a wrench into your plans because they're not happy with their own. But guess what? The universe has your back. It's like a guardian angel putting up a big stop sign to keep this person away from you. They're being held back from causing you any harm, like a barrier keeping you safe. And when they realize they can't mess with you anymore, they're going to be embarrassed. It's like they're standing on a stage, trying to perform, but everyone sees right through them. So, don't stress. Keep doing your thing, and let the divine handle the rest. You've got this. Because love never fails, thus you will not fail. You see, perfect love casts out all fear, my beloved. Through the work of the cross, I have brought perfect love into every aspect of your life. It is through this perfect love that I am perfecting what you have committed to me. Relinquish any expectations in your heart that go against my promises. Trust me. For I am leading you towards the fulfillment of your highest heart's desires and dreams. I haven't said no, and I have not excluded you, nor have I denied you. Make it your now determination to free yourself from the chains of unfounded fear and deny its hold on your life. The past accomplishments I have brought forth in your life are merely the beginning of a season of great fruitfulness. Are you ready to experience a catch so abundant that the nets cannot contain? Are you ready for your words and actions to carry the same power as if I spoke and acted? You are standing on the threshold of a new entitlement, a new experience of the blessings that flow from the cross. These entitlements are manifesting themselves in your healing, your spiritual well-being, your relationships, and even in your finances. Embrace this season, step up boldly, and indulge in the richness of life. I have sent forth my blessings, my worthy portion, and they are meant for you to receive. Have faith, for by spending your faith, you are investing in the currency of the kingdom, a currency that surpasses anything earthly means can offer. Remember, I am with you always, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. This is a time of blessings, my child. Embrace it fully, for it belongs to you. Trust in me, for I am faithful to bring all that I have promised to pass in your life. The Father says today, from the place of renewed intimacy and experience of my glory, is coming to your life a beautiful transformation, like a spinning dance of growth and discovery. My word is coming to a place of amplification in your spirit, even as Adam and Eve experienced my following, when they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day. I am walking in the garden of your inner man, that you might find me and seek me and step into a new profound level of relationship that, is yours to know and enjoy by my determinate will. There is a sound, a resonance of my sound and my voice that will begin to permeate your life. In your study of the scriptures, you will come across the passage where they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day. Even so, I am walking by my word and my voice in the inner man of your spirit that I've created as my dwelling place. So dig deeper so you can understand this as the sound of my wind and my word whirling on the breezes of your inner man. I have instilled within you a spirit that resonates, much like a tuning fork. At this pivotal point in your life, I choose to step closer to you and pluck the strings of your inner man so that my sound, my voice and my song will come forth, be known, and set many free with the freedom wherewith this day I make you free. As a result, you will hear my sound and, in turn, emit my sound, and the effects of miracles and answered prayer will be tangible.
Just as certain sounds can shatter glass or evoke physical reactions, you will shed burdens that have clung to you, causing remarkable transformations in your presence. Prepare yourself, my beloved child, for when you enter a room, people will take notice. There may even be instances where someone, seemingly put together, but secretly struggling with a demonic stronghold, will undergo a physical reaction that draws attention from everyone around. Recognize this as an opportunity, for demons are like unruly children seeking attention. With a simple command from you, shut up and come out, you will demonstrate my divine power. My hand is ready to manifest in your life in a unique and powerful way. Do not be surprised if these extraordinary encounters occur outside of traditional church settings. They may arise as you go about your everyday activities, simply being yourself. An angel of change will accompany you, initiating transformations in those around you, and you will carry the radiance of my glory, where in the past was nothing but disappointment and failure. The Father says today, I am doing a complete work in your past, present and future. My spirit is actively working in your past, bringing liberty and healing to every broken area of your life from the fractures and abuses of the past. You felt insecure and unsafe, even in your skin, and I've seen that, says God. I understand the need for emotional security, so be assured that I am concerned and moving with the gentle hand of a shepherd, resolving the conflicts stilling the nightmares and threats of the enemy that have touched every aspect of your being, your heart, mind, and trust. You are safe, says God in my hands. You are safe and secure. When you feel panic and anxiety taking over, say this to yourself, I am safe. I am secure in my Father's capable hands. The enemy, the circumstance, and the situation may churn and boil around you to the point all seems lost, but beloved, be assured that nothing and no one can pluck you out of my loving care. Your life is hidden in me, protected and shielded from the challenges and uncertainties of the world. So much so, that the enemy is blinded like those who groped to find the door when the angels visited Lot in Sodom. They are seeking to gain access, but I have blinded their ambitions and turned them instead against each other so that you won't have to fight them but witness their removal from your life by their misguided efforts. The Father says, time for you to soar, time for you to fly, like a bird in flight, encapsulated in a bubble of my presence, love, peace, and faithfulness. You are ascending in worship that you might descend in warfare, witnessing the enemy's total defeat in every area of your life. People, forgive them. Forgive, release, bless, move on. Even though people may disappoint you at times, you can rest assured that you will not be shaken because your trust is firmly placed in that Christ anointing, my indwelling presence on the inside of you. Be confident and be assured, says the Father. You will rest deeply and live confidently, knowing that my embrace and protection encompass every part of your life. This is your season to experience the freedom that comes from finding your identity in me. As you continue your journey, remember the truth of my promises. Doubt your doubts and embrace my sure word that has gone out over you but the prophets. Embrace healing, restoration and security, knowing you are anchored in my unwavering love. Your past does not define you. It becomes a testimony of the redemptive initiative of grace and power that is flowing down to you from my throne and filling you with those things necessary to reshape your entire existence. Walk confidently and joyfully this day and every day going forward, knowing that your life is hidden in me and that I will never fail you. The Father says today, let your mouth pray. Put more energy into prayer than you do all the vain, unenlightened tactics of the flesh that only make matters worse in your life. I say again, let your mouth pray. E embrace the power of prayer. Every word you utter in prayer is valuable and hold significance in the eyes of the divine. Allow your mouth to be a vessel of prayer, for it is through prayer that you align your desires with my will and designs. When you pray, your words ascend as fragrant incense before the throne of the Almighty, establishing an atmosphere of connection. Never underestimate the profound effect your prayers can have. 
The enemy may attempt to downplay prayer as an act of desperation, but I assure you, it is a transformative catalyst in your life. Through prayer, you can transcend the ordinary and step into the realm of the miraculous. Let your mouth utter prayers with passion and conviction, and watch as mountains crumble and barriers tremble before you. No challenge or obstacle in your life is too insurmountable for the fervent prayers offered at the altar of your faith. Prayer has the power to turn my promises into tangible results and over the top outcomes in your life. The angels assigned to you from the moment of your birth eagerly listen for your prayers, ready to bring them before my throne with anticipation. Don't let a lack of prayerfulness leave your assigned angels standing empty-handed before God. Know that I am always ready and willing to hear your prayers. I am inclined and disposed to answer you. My default response to your pleas is a resounding yes, always yes, and amen. There is no obstacle too great that leaves me unwilling to overcome it in order to meet your needs. The cross of Calvary stands as a testament to the lengths I am willing to go to help you in your moments of greatest desperation. Let your words of connection and surrender to my spirit bring about the transformation, miracles and breakthroughs you seek. Your breath in prayer is never wasted. It is a divine invitation for me to show up and work wonders in your life. Trust in my faithfulness and unwavering love as you engage fervently in sacred act of prayer. Our Divine Father is here to attract your attention towards a divine sign which is manifesting for you in these moments. Your moment has finally arrived. Picture this, my chambers stand illuminated ready to receive the transformative power that is about to unfold in your life. It's as if the heavens themselves are opening up, pouring down blessings so abundant, they'll reshape every aspect of your existence. Yes, you heard me right. Those barriers? They're nothing but frail walls crumbling at the mere thought of your newfound strength. And those dreams you once thought unreachable? Well, get ready to grab them with both hands because, with me by your side, Absolutely nothing is out of reach. I'm not just sitting idly by, you know. Oh no, I'm actively working behind the scenes, meticulously crafting a new path for you, one that leads straight to abundance and fulfillment. Can you feel it? That electric buzz in the air, signaling the dawn of a new era in your life. It's the sweet release of chains that have held you captive for far too long. The gentle lifting of burdens that have weighed heavy on your heart, and let's not forget, my dear one, that you are never alone in this journey. You are cherished beyond measure, held in the warm embrace of a love that knows no bounds. Every step you've taken, every tear you've shed, I've been there, right by your side, cheering you on silently. Your pain hasn't gone unnoticed, I assure you. But here's the thing, it's time for that pain to make way for something far greater. So, open up your heart wide, and let that love pour in. Embrace the promises I've made to you, for they are as sure as the rising sun. And as for that eternal pain you've been carrying, consider it a thing of the past, my dear, for with my love, there is only healing, only joy, only the promise of a brighter tomorrow. I give you my word, you will rise, triumphantly emerging from the depths of adversity, to soar victoriously above the ashes of your challenges. Hold on to your courage, fuel your faith, and steel yourself with unyielding strength. Keep your belief unwavering, your trust unshaken. Keep praying, keep bending your knees in humble supplication, for your moment is fast approaching. The drought of despair has ended. The era of scarcity has drawn to a decisive close. From this very moment forward, you stride along a path illuminated with abundance and prosperity, a path uniquely crafted by my hand tailor-made for you and yours alone. In the hours ahead, those seemingly insurmountable problems that once tormented you shall be effortlessly resolved. I shall wield my divine power to obliterate every obstacle, transforming them into stepping stones of opportunity. Those who dare to murmur against you will be silenced, their voices drowned out by the resounding echoes of my magnificent work within you. Fear not, for my celestial guardians stand watch over every step you take, shielding you from harm's reach. 
Those who plot your downfall shall find themselves powerless against the might of my heavenly protection. Turn a deaf ear to their venomous words, for my radiant light shall pierce through the darkest shadows, illuminating your path with unwavering clarity. Yes, I know the weight of your weight has been burdensome, but mark my words, your time is now, and the magnitude of the miracle that awaits you is beyond measure. Prepare yourself for the extraordinary transformation that lies ahead. When you witness the boundless blessings I have bestowed upon you, tears of joy shall flow freely from your eyes, and you shall remember this day as a testament to my unwavering presence in your life. Feel my comforting embrace enveloping you, my beloved one. I am by your side, shielding you from all harm like a pristine mantle of white. Doubts, criticisms, and malicious comments will fade into oblivion as I restore your very being. I am uprooting the curses that have plagued you, replacing them with a crown of victory upon your brow. This is your moment, and I sense the restlessness in your soul, the turmoil in your heart. But fear not, for I grant you my peace today peace that surpasses all understanding, saturating every fiber of your being with tranquility. An opportunity beckons at this very moment, an unexpected door swinging open before you. Seize it with gusto, for I have laid this path before you. Do not falter now, my dear one. You have come too far to be defeated. Regain your strength, summon your courage, and march forward with unwavering determination. In this trial, you shall emerge victorious. Remember, you are never alone. I am with you, guiding you, enriching your life with boundless fulfillment, joy and abundance. Know this, believe it, my love for you knows no bounds, and I am with you now and forevermore. My cherished child, hear me now as I pour forth my love and blessings upon you like a mighty river flowing endlessly from the depths of my heart. Feel the warmth of my embrace enveloping you, soothing your weary soul and lifting the burdens that weigh heavy upon your shoulders. You are not alone, for I am here, ever present and steadfast in my devotion to you. In this tumultuous journey called life, I am your unwavering beacon of hope, guiding you through the darkness and illuminating the path before you with the radiant light of my love. Trust in me, dear one for I am the rock upon which you may safely anchor your faith and find solace in times of uncertainty. As you navigate the twists and turns of fate, know that my love for you knows no bounds. It is a boundless ocean, vast and deep, teeming with endless possibilities and untold treasures waiting to be discovered. Allow yourself to be swept away by the currents of my grace, for in my arms you will find refuge from the storms that rage around you. Do not let fear or doubt cloud your vision, for I am the steady hand that guides you through the tempest. With unwavering faith and courage, you shall overcome every obstacle and emerge victorious on the other side. Trust in the power of my love to see you through, for it is a force beyond measure, capable of moving mountains and parting seas. So, my beloved child, stand tall and walk with confidence, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. Let my love be your guiding light, illuminating the path to a future filled with boundless joy, abundant blessings and unending prosperity. For in my love, you will find the strength to rise above adversity and soar to new heights of greatness. My beloved child, listen closely to the words that flow from the depths of my heart to yours. I want you to grasp the magnitude of my love for you, to feel its power coursing through every fiber of your being like a mighty river of endless grace and compassion. From the moment of your inception, you were etched into the very fabric of my divine plan, crafted with meticulous care and boundless affection. Even before you took your first breath, I had already envisioned the extraordinary journey that lay ahead for you. A journey filled with purpose, meaning and boundless potential. As you emerged into this world, I cradled you in the palm of my hand guiding your steps with tender devotion and unwavering love. Every joyous moment, every tear shed in sorrow, I was there. Intimately acquainted with the intricacies of your heart, your soul laid bare before me. And in the fullness of time, I sent forth my beloved son, 
Jesus Christ, as the ultimate expression of my love for you. Through his sacrifice, he bore the weight of your sins, your pain, your suffering, so that you might experience the boundless joy of redemption and eternal life. Never doubt your worth, my precious child, for you are the crown jewel of my creation, a radiant beacon of light in a world shrouded in darkness. Dismiss the voices of doubt and despair, but seek to diminish your spirit, for they are but whispers in the wind, compared to the resounding chorus of my love for you. Know this, my child, I am with you always, a steadfast presence in the midst of life's trials and tribulations. In moments of solitude and despair, when the world seems to conspire against you, I am there holding you close, guiding you along the path of righteousness and truth. There is nothing in this world that can separate you from my love, my child. Not your past mistakes, nor your present struggles, nor the uncertainties that loom on the horizon. My love for you is unyielding, unwavering, eternal and unbreakable bond that transcends time and space. So, my beloved child, take heart and hold fast to the truth of my love for you. Let it be the anchor that steadies your soul in the midst of life's storms, the beacon that guides you through the darkness, and the wellspring of hope that sustains you on your journey toward eternity. For in my love, you will find strength, courage, and unfathomable grace to overcome every obstacle and emerge victorious now and forevermore. My beloved child, come close and let the warmth of my love envelop you like a soft, comforting embrace. Feel the gentle whisper of my presence, soothing your soul, easing the burdens that weigh heavy on your heart. In the vast expanse of the universe, amidst the chaos and clamor of life, know that you are cherished beyond measure, treasured beyond compare. From the very dawn of creation, I envisioned you, dreamed of you, crafted you with tender care and unwavering affection. Each fiber of your being, every intricate detail, reflects the beauty of my handiwork, the depth of my love. Before you even took your first breath, I set in motion a divine plan for your life, a plan brimming with purpose, overflowing with promise. As you navigate the twists and turns of your journey, remember that I am with you, ever present, ever faithful. In moments of triumph, I rejoice with you, my heart swelling with pride. In moments of despair, I hold you close, my arms a sanctuary of solace and strength. Through every joy and every trial, I walk beside you, my love a steadfast anchor in the ebb and flow of life's tides. In the midst of life's storms, when the winds howl and the waves crash against your fragile vessel, take refuge in the shelter of my embrace. For I am the calm in the chaos, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Trust in me, dear child, and I will guide you through the darkest valleys, leading you to green pastures and still waters. Know that my love for you knows no bounds, transcending time and space, reaching beyond the farthest reaches of the cosmos. It is a love that endures through every trial, every tribulation, a love that remains steadfast and true. So fear not, my child, for you are never alone. I am with you always, a beacon of hope in a world shrouded in darkness. Today, as you stand on the threshold of a new day, know that I am here, ready to shower you with blessings beyond measure. Open your heart to receive my abundant grace, my boundless mercy. For you are my beloved child, my precious creation, and my greatest joy. And in my love, you will find the strength to rise, the courage to soar, and the grace to journey ever onward. My cherished child, as your eternal shepherd, I have woven days of unparalleled blessing into the fabric of your existence. In the moments when you kneel in prayer, the seeds of your unwavering faith and relentless determination flourish promising to bear fruit that will drench your soul in tears of happiness and echo through the corridors of time with laughter of joy. Yet, on this sacred journey, you must anchor your heart in the belief that no challenge is insurmountable. Stand firm with a resolve that is steadfast and unshakable, commanding mountains to move, knowing that the celestial realm shall align, unleashing a downpour of divine provision that will satiate your deepest longings and elevate your spirit to new heights. 
The horizon beckons each day, unfurling like the petals of a new bloom under the golden rays of dawn, whispering the promise of new beginnings, opportunities ripe for the taking, and challenges that will test the mettle of your soul. Clad in the armor of faith, march forward, fortified by the Holy Word, with the assurance that I, E, your almighty protector, am ever present. My presence is a beacon in the darkest of nights, a comforting shade in the blaze of noon, a steady hand amidst the fiercest storms, and a gentle caress in the soothing rains. Behold, the days of divine favor are upon you, as declared by your sovereign Lord. To be blessed is to bask in the joy that cascades from the heavens, a divine provision that nourishes your soul and completes your being. It is to stride into every battle armed with the knowledge that victory is assured, for you are a child of the Most High. Blessedness is found in the simplicity of being content with your daily bread, in the quiet trust you place in me, your divine shepherd, who promises to provide not just for your bodily needs, but for the deeper cravings of your soul, the well-being of your family, and the wisdom you seek to. Nurture your spirit. This wisdom enables you to grow and flourish each day under my guidance, and to be a faithful servant living out the commands of my word with joy and dedication. I declare unto you, days rich with blessing are not merely approaching, they are almost upon us. Let your heart echo with belief in this truth, for you are well acquainted with the reality that the word of your omnipotent Father never falls to the ground unfulfilled. Approach me with all your burdens, let not the weight of these concerns rest upon your shoulders alone. The moment for your peace and rejuvenation has arrived. You expend your energies caring for others, draining yourself. But today, I have drawn near to uplift you, to cradle you in my arms, to offer you solace, and to envelop you in the boundless expanse of my love. Do not forget to cherish your own being as well. It is imperative that you dedicate time to seek me through prayer, to attune your ears to my voice, and to absorb my divine insights. Heed my word and my promises, for I have devised a plan destined to revolutionize your life and that of your families. It is not my desire for you to tread further along a path marked by a wearied soul, a troubled heart, and an encumbered mind. You are not created to endure a lifetime of incessant needs and conflicts. I have liberated and saved you so that you may forever stand tall, free from the shackles of defeat or humiliation at the hands of your adversaries. Into you, I have breathed an immeasurable worth and dignity. This is my solemn promise to you. Now I urge you to embrace my truth with open arms. I am setting before you numerous pathways to embark upon a new journey, leaving the shadows of past errors far behind. Concentrate on your loved ones, on prayer, and on stewarding the abundant blessings that are poised to flood into your life. Imagine awakening each day, liberated from the grips of fear or anxiety, your heart brimming with bravery and joy. Initiate this transformation today. Lift your voice in gratitude and proclaim with unwavering faith. Thank you, my God, for gifting me yet another day of life. Feel the divine strength that encases you from head to toe. Observe as your thoughts and emotions find equilibrium and my words firmly implant within your consciousness. You will retain all that I have imparted to you and it will arm you to face the challenges that today may bring. Recognize and embrace my love for you. Accept my peace. Navigate your life with a resolute heart and find solace in my support. Let not the sorrowful whispers of your pillow at night convince you that love has forsaken you. Dismiss such thoughts, for right at this moment, you are enveloped in the tenderness of my divine embrace. The agony you endure is not a marker of your demise, nor a testament to failure. Surrender to me your pain and find solace in my presence. Should tears wish to flow, let them cascade freely. I long to share in every tear, to be with you in your moments of sorrow, standing by your side. I empathize deeply with your suffering, and it grieves me too. Yet know this, we are united in this trial, and as the dawn breaks with the sun of faith, illuminating your morning, the warmth of my love, your heavenly Father's love, will still be right there beside you. 
I am here to offer comfort, to imbue you with strength, and to reaffirm how immensely precious you are to me. Ask yourself, what force on earth or in the heavens can ever detach you from my embrace? Let this truth sink into the very core of your being. No anguish, no persecution, doubts, nor trials have the power to sever you from my steadfast, eternal, boundless, and sincere love. I impart this to you, so that you might always bear in mind that regardless of your shortcomings and errors, my love for you stands unshakable. I do not falter, I do not deceive, nor do I embellish. If I have professed my love for you a million times over, it is because my love for you is beyond measure, beyond time, infinitely vast and unfailing. Remember, my child, as it is written in Romans 8, 38-39, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let this be a testament to the enduring nature of my love for you, a love that transcends all barriers, a beacon of hope, and a source of strength, no matter the circumstances, the moment has arrived for you to fully embrace the depths of my love, discarding every ounce of doubt that shadows your heart. Let your faith be unyielding, akin to a sturdy sailboat that bravely traverses through stormy seas and fierce winds. You are destined neither to sink nor to be lost in the abyss, nor to stumble in your journey. Trust in my words, grasp the magnitude of this truth. It is time to stand firm in faith, to rise from despair, to walk in unwavering confidence. My hand has showered numerous blessings upon you, each a testament to my unfailing providence. Offer me your heart with the utmost trust and never allow your faith to be shaken. I assure you, I will never forsake you. Proclaim your belief in me. Experience the warmth of my constant presence. Allow this assurance to guide you, as it is affirmed in Hebrews 13, 5, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Thus, with such a promise, let your heart be fortified. I call upon you to stand strong amidst the tempest, secure in the knowledge that your anchor is cast in the bedrock of my love and faithfulness. Your path is illuminated by the light of my word, a beacon that guides you through the darkest nights and the fiercest storms. Embrace this journey with me, knowing that my love envelops you like a shield protecting and guiding you towards a destiny filled with hope and abundance. With each step you take, remember, my promises are true and my love is ceaseless. Let your heart be filled with the peace that comes from knowing you are never alone, for I am with you, guiding your steps, lifting you above the tumult of the waves and leading you to shores of peace and prosperity. Trust in me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to me, and I will make your path straight. As proclaimed in Proverbs 3, 5, 6, this is the faith I call you to a faith that sees beyond the visible, that reaches into the very heart of the divine, where my love for you is endless, and my commitment to your well-being is unwavering. I am ever-present, eagerly awaiting your conversations with me. Your mind brims with ambitions and well-laid plans. You embody diligence and responsibility. Harbor no fear, for your path is aligned with triumph in and trust in me without reservation. Seek my presence daily and attentively. Embrace the wisdom my words impart. My desire is for you to tread confidently, to anchor your dreams in the unshakable foundation of the rock, and to lay down the roots of your family's future in alignment with my will and guidance. I am certain you grasp the essence of my message. My request is simple. Direct your focus towards what truly matters, ensuring your precious time and energies are not wasted on ephemeral pursuits and trivial distractions. Your relationship with me is paramount. Let us remain inseparably connected. I await those quiet moments of your attentive listening, for it is in those silences that our deepest exchanges unfold. Your growth and fortification Fill me with immense joy, especially as I observe the dreams you chase and the dedication you pour into them. My intent is to shower you with blessings so profound 
that doubt finds no foothold, for you have been precisely placed in this moment, perfectly prepared for the openings I am about to reveal to you. Proceed. Approach each opportunity with courage. A realm of blessings beckons the courageous, the ones who recognize their value, who reject the echoes of negativity and the discourse of failure or surrender. Embrace this journey with the assurance that you are not alone. Each step you take is a step closer to the fruition of your dreams. Under my watchful eye and with my guiding hand, the adversities you encounter are not roadblocks but stepping stones meticulously placed by me to elevate you to greater heights. In the face of difficulty, remember that resilience and faith open the gates to untold blessings. Stand firm in your worth, undeterred by fear or discouragement, for in my promise lies your victory and fulfillment. I have intricately woven you into existence, infused life within your very being, and graced you with a splendid dominion. Yet should you find yourself retreating in hesitation, shackled by doubts of my assurances or swayed by the errant counsel of those who do not know me, we stand at a crossroads for your growth and flourishing. An unwavering faith in me is essential. You must anchor your belief in the truth that I harbor an unfathomable love for you, that my presence is a steadfast reality, and that it is within my greatest desires to nurture and shower blessings upon you. Your existence, your prosperity, rest securely within my omnipotent hands. Trust in this without reservation. Affirm your faith in me. Step into the sanctity of my embrace. Allow my touch to mend your heart and pacify your spirit. As dawn breaks, my intention is to erase the remnants of nocturnal sorrows, to infuse your being with a joy that radiates as you venture into the daylight. You have spent countless hours in the silence of the night, wrestling with concerns that stretch beyond your reach. Let me be your ally. Grant me the privilege to fortify our bond, to enrich this divine companionship. While I value your reverence, I yearn for your trust, to see me not only as your God, but also as your confidant. Share with me your burdens. I am ever present to listen. Your confessions are safe with me, shielded from every ear. I promise forgiveness and to hurl your transgressions into the abyss. As I have proclaimed, your previous errors are not for me to brandish. I choose not to dwell on what lies behind us. Thus, I invite you to dedicate moments each day for our dialogue. I will attentively absorb your words, consider your pleas, and commence the orchestration of my responses. Faith is all that is required of you, along with a measure of patience for the realization of my vows, will encounter no delay. The blessings you seek, the answers you yearn for, will assuredly find their way to you in due course. I encourage you to embrace tranquility in this moment, positioning yourself in readiness for the influx of blessings poised on the horizon. Sustenance, serenity, robust health, spiritual wealth, extraordinary prosperity, familial harmony, restoration within your household, forgiveness and tender affection, these await you. As dawn breaks, ushering in the gift of a new day, let your heart swell with appreciation for this blessing, this privilege you've been granted. Consider those in the throes of hardship who equally yearn for my intervention. I am appointing you as my emissary to embody my love and disseminate the essence and splendor of my divine scheme. Witness the expansion of your joy and the fortification of your vigor as you cultivate a demeanor of worship and thankfulness. My deepest desire is for your happiness. In this assertion, there is no falsehood. Yet the onus is yours to accord me the reverence I am due in your life, to heed my guidance and to earnestly seek my presence. It brings me joy to shower you with blessings and envelop you in my love, regardless of the complexities encircling your circumstances. In moments of despair, find solace beneath the shelter of my wings. When anxiety besieges you, find comfort upon my shoulder and unburden your soul. Entrust me with all your fears and apprehensions, for my grace and mercy know no bounds. Let this assurance fill you, my readiness to bestow upon you and your loved ones, a life marked by peace, health, spiritual growth, 
and abundance is unwavering. Start each day with a heart brimming with gratitude, recognizing the sheer beauty and opportunity each morning brings. Your role as a beacon of my love in the lives of those enduring suffering is critical. Through you, the radiance of my love and the grandeur of my intentions will be manifested. As you embrace a lifestyle of gratitude and praise, you'll find your happiness augmented and your resilience strengthened. Remember, my desire for your joy is unfeigned, rooted in the very essence of my being. However, your fulfillment and the realization of these blessings hinge upon your willingness to prioritize me in your life, to adhere to my teachings, and to pursue me with zeal. I revel in the opportunity to bless and cherish you, even amidst the trials you may face. When the weight of the world feels unbearable, retreat to the refugee provided by my embrace. Share your concerns with me and let my boundless grace and mercy carry you through. My love for you is profound and unwavering, and it is because of this deep affection that I am committed to supporting you. You are cherished deeply by me, my child, and there should never be any room for doubt regarding this truth. You have opened your heart wide to me, embrace my essence with all your might, and your devotion fills me with immense joy. It is for this very reason that you are entitled to approach me boldly, with confidence, communicating with me openly, with clarity, and devoid of any apprehension. Understand that you are worthy of guidance and correction when necessary. I have brought you into existence, having chosen you even before you took your first breath in this world. I am intimately familiar with every aspect of your being, your battles, your strengths, your aspirations, and your vulnerabilities. When you falter and fall, know that it does not provoke my wrath. Never hesitate to seek my presence, even when burdened with guilt. Where else shall you turn? To those who profess their regard and affection for you, only to betray my teachings and speak negatively of you behind your back. The sanctuary you yearn for a haven of friendship, understanding, and boundless love can only be found in my presence. I'm here not to judge harshly, but to offer refuge and redemption. In my eyes, you are more than your mistakes. You are a beloved creation deserving of grace and a fresh start. Let my love be the foundation on which you rebuild and renew your spirit. Together, we will navigate the complexities of life, drawing strength from our unbreakable bond. Remember, my arms are always open, ready to offer comfort, guidance, and the unconditional love that you seek. Come to me and let us walk this journey together, enveloped in the light of my love and the promise of a future filled with hope and fulfillment. My pursuit is not to catalogue your errors, for I am already acquainted with each one. It is not my desire to witness your faltering, only to turn away in disdain. Rather, in moments when you find yourself drifting away from my embrace, it is I who venture forth to meet you, to gently guide you back to the sanctuary of peace. Within this haven flows the river of serenity, from which you may quench your thirst with its revitalizing waters. This is the earnest plea I extend to you once more. Never allow the shadow of your most challenging trials to make you forget the depth of my love for you. My affection, coupled with my omnipotence, stands ready to extricate you from the depths of despondency, to infuse your being with a renewed sense of purpose and fulfillment, and to rekindle the bravery and zest for life that seem beyond your grasp. My deepest wish is for you to trust in me, to immerse yourself in the realization that you are profoundly loved and safeguarded. For this is the eternal truth, unchanging across the ages. Let this assurance be your stronghold, reminiscent of the promises found within the scriptures, such as Isaiah 43, 2, which proclaims, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. This passage is a testament to the steadfast nature of my love and protection over your life. My presence is a constant, unwavering force designed to guide you through every trial and tribulation, offering a wellspring of hope and renewal when despair seems to have the upper hand. Embrace this truth with all your heart, knowing that my love is a beacon that shines brightly, guiding you back to me time and time again. In me, 
you will find the solace and strength necessary to face whatever lies ahead. Assured of my eternal love and commitment to your well-being, I want to assure you of my everlasting love, a love that seeks your highest good now and forevermore. Rest assured, I am vigilantly overseeing the well-being of your family. Continue to lift them up in prayer, for they rest securely within my providential care. Your prayers serve as a powerful conduit through which I am actively intervening in their lives, addressing even those concerns that remain invisible to your eyes. Do not halt your supplications. Their need for your spiritual intercession is profound. Know that I accompany each of them as they step out from the safety of your home, safeguarding them from harm and enveloping them in my protection. Embrace tranquility, my dear child, for I am orchestrating the unity and peace of your household. The distress and sorrow that weigh upon you are on the verge of transformation. Together, you and your family will experience a deepening bond. I am in the process of distancing those who sow discord and ill will from your midst. However, it is imperative that you extend forgiveness and show compassion towards each of them. Refrain from engaging with their antagonism and you will witness a cessation of their disruptive actions. Let this assurance inspire you. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Matthew 5, 9 As you embody peace and forgiveness, you become a reflection of my kingdom on earth, influencing not only your family, but also those around you. Your restraint and love in the face of provocation are powerful testimonies of your faith and trust in my will. Therefore, persist in prayer, remain steadfast in love, and continue to foster forgiveness. In doing so, you align with my purposes, becoming a vessel through which my grace and healing can flow into the lives of your loved ones and even your adversaries. The unity and harmony you long for within your home are being woven together by my hand. Stand firm in this faith and prepare to witness the beautiful unfolding of my plan for you and your family. You were brought into existence with a divine purpose to embody and disseminate my love, to be a beacon of my kindness and illumination in the world. It is through the living testimony of your life that many within your circle, especially your family, will undergo transformation. They will observe the serenity and profound change in you and start to question the source of your peace and newfound demeanor. It is in these moments of curiosity and wonder that you must attribute the transformation to your faith in me, asserting that just as I have reshaped your life, I hold the capacity to transform the lives of each member of your family as well. Continue to intercede for them in prayer, my beloved child. While it may seem beyond your ability to alter certain circumstances or to be perpetually by their side, remember, my reach knows no bounds. I will intervene on your behalf and theirs because of my boundless love for every soul upon this earth. Your role in this divine partnership is simple yet profound. Commit to prayer, relinquish all forms of resentment, malicious talk, envy and bitterness. Place your unwavering trust in me, live with the assurance that I oversee all and that my timing is impeccable. Surrender your worries to me and you shall witness remarkable transformations in your surroundings. If doubts ever cloud your mind about my ability to reach someone within your home, cling to faith, for my power knows no limits. I'm capable of altering mindsets, reshaping character, and softening hearts. Be patient, for soon you will bear witness to the evidence of my transformative power. Remember with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Let this assurance fortify your faith and guide your actions as you walk in obedience and submission to my will. You pave the way for miracles to unfold, not only in your life, but in the lives of those around you. Stand firm in this belief and ready your heart for the wondrous works I am about to perform in your midst. Brace yourself for what I am about to unveil will surpass your wildest expectations. I want you to know that my presence will surround you both by day and by night guiding the unfolding of events in alignment with my celestial scheme. Turn to the scriptures and commune with me in heartfelt prayer, for it is through these sacred texts that I will affirm the veracity of my promises to you. 
Though heaven and earth may vanish, my words will stand unalterable and eternal. I will navigate you, leading you directly to the juncture of your breakthrough, to the very spot where you will thrive unboundedly. Anticipate a profound metamorphosis within your life as my plans for you come to fruition. Embrace the gift I am extending to you. You are on the verge of entering a realm that marks the beginning of all your dreams and ambitions. In this new phase, you will cross paths with souls whose journeys mirror your own, whose thoughts resonate with the echoes of your aspirations. Together, you will craft a tapestry of blessings and wonders, for the scope of what I have in store for you is beyond your wildest imaginations. Approach every individual with kindness and empathy, for you are destined to meet people of virtue and extraordinary character. Souls who will captivate and inspire you, help will arrive from quarters you least expect. Remain vigilant with your senses, finely tuned so that when the moment arrives and the door to new possibilities opens wide, you will not be ensnared in trivial pursuits or meaningless distractions. Further explanations are unnecessary. My message to you is unambiguous and its truth resonates within you. You know with certainty that I will direct your footsteps and remain by your side through every season of life. Place your trust in me for my love for you is boundless. Today, I aim to show you the depth of your significance to me. I am the guardian of your heart, the provider of tranquility to your mind and the purifier of your thoughts. In moments of upheaval, know that I am steadfastly by your side. Believe in the assurance I bring. This message is a treasure meant just for you. Every blessing you receive flows from my grace and with me is your constant companion. Each new day unfolds as an opportunity for unexpected joys and divine interventions. I am here to empower you, to be your beacon of hope in the darkest nights and through the most challenging trials. My love for you is the foundation of my commitment to alleviate your worries. It is out of this profound love that I assure you of my forgiveness. Should there have been moments when you felt distant or if doubts about my presence clouded your heart, Know that I forgive your hesitation and every misstep along the way. My ultimate wish is to breathe new life into your being, to catalyze a transformation within you that enables you to walk in step with me, fully embracing the life I have envisioned for you. I admire your dedication to those you hold dear, yet I urge you to lift them up in your prayers as well. Rest assured, I extend my vigilant watch over you and your loved ones at all times. Through every journey you undertake, under the brilliance of day and through the shadows of night, across paths blessed and even those misguided, continue to pray. Maintain your trust in me and let not anxiety overwhelm you. I pledge to safeguard them, harboring the same desire to welcome them back into my embrace, should they stray in search of new horizons. Have you forgotten, or perhaps it momentarily escaped your memory, the reason behind my sacrifice? enduring the agony of the cross. It was to envelop you and your loved ones in my boundless mercy. My desire is for you to approach my throne with confidence at any time. The gateway is perpetually open. My ear is inclined towards you and my promises stand ready to manifest in your life, nurturing your faith and yielding a harvest that paves the way to a more fulfilling existence. Let me affirm once again, for the sake of absolute clarity, that your unwavering faith and trust in me are what I seek. There's no need for prolonged contemplation. Should you face any challenge, simply come before me and trust me with your concerns. And that is sufficient. I will heed your call and my word, alive and powerful, will manifest its truth in your life. This same word that you engage with daily through reading, listening and earnest reflection carries beautiful promises that echo in your thoughts amidst trials. When you feel assailed, wounded, or diminished by the words or actions of others, remember my commitment to never leave you forsaken. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I want you to know, without a shadow of a doubt, that your life and the lives of your family are securely held within my hands. No one can remove you from my care. My love's magnitude has been revealed through countless gestures and the time for doubt has passed. 
You and your family hold immeasurable value in my eyes. Do not lose heart or refrain from praying. This message comes in response to your plea for a sign, and here it stands. Should you require further assurance, know that I am ever willing to communicate with you. Awaken your senses, ready your heart, for I find joy in speaking with you and yearn to reveal the depths of my love continually. I am ever attentive to your voice, never growing weary of hearing your petitions. Yet, I urge you to persist in prayer. Do not regard it as a fruitless endeavor, exercise patience, and allow me the grace to work intricately in your life. I promise to deliver beyond your expectations when the moment for my answer arrives. Do not lose heart in your period of waiting. Engage in introspection. Consider how you have cultivated and fortified your faith. It has grown more resilient and unwavering. You find yourself less daunted by challenges and less consumed by fear. In the face of conflict, you are walking my path, and this is commendable. In those trying times when you felt adrift, you did not veer off course or wander down convoluted and hazardous byways. Rather, you clung steadfastly to my love, and this brings me immense joy. Take comfort in the assurance that I am always attuned to your prayers, committed to answering them. Your journey of faith demonstrates a remarkable transformation. You've learned to stand firm, drawing closer to me with each step. This steadfastness is a testament to the strength of our bond, a bond that will never be broken. I celebrate your devotion and the progress you've made on this spiritual voyage. Your trust in me, even amidst uncertainty, is a profound act of worship that does not go unnoticed.